Come back here, fish. Can you handle the effectiveness of Kirby's yarn? Hello and welcome to another part of Kirby's Epic Yarn, where we shall find out. In the last episode, we did Blah Blah Ocean and Splash Beach, and this time we are gonna finally throw this hoop. So as we sink slowly, let's do it. And when there's hoops, you know there will be dolphins. So we do those hoops. Uh, that's not a dolphin, but it works. Yeah, so the whale's gonna somehow go through that hoop, and it's going to make a platform to Secret Island. Ooh. Okay, so let's go to Secret Island right away. I actually haven't been recording this game for a while. Because I've been sick for like a whole week with a cold, I hope I'm not still sick. You know, I think I'm better, which is why I'm recording, but if I do sound any different, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> what am I gonna do about it? Also, the- Oh! Red bees, they follow you forever. Ugh. So they're very dangerous. You wanna catch them right away. There's not a lot of them. But, when they do come, they are very dangerous. But speaking of sounding different, I did get a new headset once again. And I know what you're thinking, we all took left, why are you getting so many headsets? Well, this time it didn't break. Um actually pretty cool. I got an upgrade, like the guys where my where I got my headset, they're like, oh, we have an upgraded version of this. And the seller is gonna let you I just messed that up tonight. Okay, I'm gonna start over, but they said the seller is gonna let you upgrade your headset. For only like twenty dollars, something like that, some less price. So I turn in my old headphones and I get these new ones, which are supposedly much better. Um, they're also though much louder. So you guys probably won't be able to hear it because, of course, I'll make it a little less loud when I edit this. But it will sound a little different, hopefully for the better. So there you have it. And this secret island place, uh, it's pretty cool, but I don't really like it because there's a ton of these puzzles that you could mess up on, and you can start over, which this game doesn't have a lot of. But there are some of those puzzles, but, you know, usually this game is very nice to its players. And it's like, oh, you messed up, we'll let you try again. But most of these puzzles don't work like that, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think this one... Hmm. Yeah, this is another puzzle like that. Right? No, that's the way we're supposed to go. How do we What? Okay, let's just do this. Oh, the platform goes there. Okay. That's fine. I'm wondering what was down there. Did I just mess up? No, I did mess up. Uh. But. Oh, well. well I'm getting scared that I'm gonna miss every single thing on this level. Anyways, the way we're supposed to go now. Is back here. Avoid the red beer. Bees, I said beers. There's a lot of them in this level. I don't know why. On this secret island place. But uh, here's our first treasure. The treasure rug. Feel like you inherited a fortune as you lie on this dazzling rug. Kinda looks like a cookie. Not gonna lie. One of those weird cookies with the M&Ms. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, now, we want to get into the foreground. Uh, if you wanted to get back here, this is a quick little shortcut. But that's not the way we're supposed to go. Actually, I probably could have taken that shortcut in the first place. Whatever. Um, here now we are outside of the island. And we have lots of these shooting guys. Some of the puzzles have to do with um, these blocks that can only be broken with those arrow things. Well, you can break them with any throwable thing, but the way to break two or more, what you need to do, is with the arrow things. And we also have Gordos, as I think they're called. I used to call them just spiky things, but apparently they're called Gordos, which I knew. So I've played other Kirby games besides this. Uh, but over here, 
we can go into the background to get the star. Not really super important, but if you go down there and there's that perilous plunge, you won't be able to ever get it. And speaking of perilous plunge, let's go! Oh yes, another we need an arrow guy thing. We need to go all the way up there. So uh let's go, I guess. What we need to do is pull this, which will simultaneously pull that little thing that these waddle dees are standing on, and now they'll fall. And we can just throw it like that. Pretty awesome. If you wanted those beads, you can still go into the background and get them. See, you can hear the sound of me bead getting. Uh, but we can go over here. And when I first played this game, it actually took me quite a while to find out that what you have to do to get this treasure. But it actually turns into a chicken or a rooster, and it looks really weird. That's probably the weirdest decoration thing this game has. I mean, look at it. It's just so awkward. With those legs and it jumped off. Ugh. Let's not look at that anymore. We have our totem pole. This totem pole sports a few faces you may recognize. Yes, it does. It has those flying things, the waddle dees, and the waddle doos. And if we go up here, we can take another perilous plunge to get even more beads. Okay. So, once you're ready, hit the speed, and weird wild these with balloons will come flying up. We've seen these before, and I think, let's see, in the first world, there's a level with beans. I don't know what it's called, but that's where we've seen these guys before. And what you're trying to do is go all the way up, getting the beads as you go. Of course, when you're not staying on them, they'll go higher much faster, and their balloons will break much slower. Make it- oh. We have our CD, Splash Beach Music. And we actually have to do some backtracking. Yeah, I know, backtracking. But, there are some extra bees we can get. At least, there's lots of stars here, jeez. My star count's gonna go up like crazy. Uh, how am I gonna get up there? Luckily, we have these platforms, so we don't need to only be, uh, Waddle Dee hopping. Okay, we're here. Um, we actually need to look up and get one of these arrows so we can shoot it. Oh, I hope I do this puzzle right. Uh, I think this. Oh, please tell me I didn't mess that up. Did I mess? I messed it. Oh, <gasps> I messed it up. What am I gonna do? Okay, well I guess I'll beat the level and then come back. See, this is why I don't like this level, because that happens. Ugh. It's so annoying. Oh, well, we're very close to the end, so we can just cruise on by. Maybe not. Oh, wait. No, never mind. We're not close at all. Uh, let's get all these bees. Hurry faster. No, I can't get them. They're in the foreground. No. Oh, well, we can lose a few stars, I guess. Not that I want to. But it's, it's what must be done. What we need to do, though, is fly on these flying things to get up to the top. This level likes making us go into the background and the foreground. Oh, I fell. I guess I'll just beat you back up there. Okay, so we're on this side now. We Whoa, maybe not. Ah, okay, we could just go on the other side to uh, do this, but I don't know, this side's harder. So I suppose they might have more goodies. And wow, I just realized that this music is the same as the... Oh, this side has more goodies. What's up with that? Uh, this, this has the same music as the Splash Beach. I don't know why, because it's a treasure island, not a beach. But okay, it's not really beach music, I guess. It's just tropical. But I guess the only good thing that this eye was good for were some beads and that treasure thing. Whoa, don't jump in the spikes. That would be very bad.
Like, I mean, Kirby can duck, but this game also needs a lot of ducking them. Whoa! Scene change? Jeez, why is there a haunted woods right here? That's not fun at all. There's just little glittering bees in the background. Anyways, I'm gonna get this five star thing, hopefully. And then, um, oh, maybe not. Then I'll meet you back for that puzzle that I've failed to solve. Probably just leads to a star. Actually, it probably leads to the second rung. The, you know, the three star one. So I guess in the sidebar, it will, will count as me getting all three. But only because I missed that puzzle. Ugh. And our treasure is ready as we are racking up on those beads. If Mr. Dom Wool needs any more, we'll be sure to give them to him, if we feel like it, because he's not the nicest person around. Yes, I get it, Beatrix. I'm pressing too. And we got the heart patch. So let's throw it. See what happens. Oh no. It's a lady pufferfish. I mean, dangler fish. And it's gonna make that guy fall in love. And the abyss is now open for Kirby. Deep dive deep. So, I'll meet you back at that puzzle. Ooh, I don't know if I showed this, but there's a secret star right here. Okay, now I'll meet you at the special puzzle thing that I missed. Okay, now here I am with the correct way to solve this puzzle. I uh, want to grab this guy first. I don't know why some of these things have down symbols on them and why some of them don't. But you want to throw that and then go back down here. Look up to get this guy's arrow. Because apparently archers throw... I uh, not throw. Shoot arrows in loops and they don't actually aim. But then we can go up here and get this little piece. And that's why in this level you want to think before you pull. It's basically the motto. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end, I guess. Oh. And here's our completed wheel as proof. Anyways. Oh, I didn't get five star, but I did before, so it counts. Huh. I still can't figure out why there's this haunted woods here. I mean, it's not a precursor for the next level, because as we saw, it's in the deep abyss. I don't think there are any levels about haunted woods. Maybe the closest thing would be that dark manor thing we saw in Sweetland. But the cool thing about this world, I guess, unlike Sweetland and all those other ones, is that all the levels have to do with the world. They're all ocean themed. Even this secret island is an island which has to do with the ocean. Huh? Huh? So, not that this is my favorite world because in any game, no matter what game it is, I will never like water levels. I think lots of people will agree with me. I still can't get over that they say ready, but they never say go. Anyways, as I'm uploading this, it should be... Uh, you can't grab their teeth, you have to grab them from behind. It should be close to St. Patrick's Day, which we celebrate in the U.S. For all of you foreign viewers out there. Uh, but I remember as a kid, always doing this thing where I would, uh... You know, my parents would make the house all dirty to pretend like it was St. Patrick's Day. And then they would... I'd be like, oh, it's leprechauns, and then we'd make these cool elaborate traps that didn't actually work because I was, you know, just a kid. But to try to cap catch leprechauns, and when you went to school, you would come home, and then there would be like a note, like, oh, yeah, caught me, here's five dollars, <laughs> something like that. Because, of course, you get their gold. And I just want to know if any of you guys ever did that, because it is approaching the day, so why not? I guess I can be the common question. What do you do to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, if you do at all? And, oh, why is my game slowing down? Okay, good, I got that beat. Uh, these guys, as they look, are electric. I don't want to touch them. They are very big enemies. And so you have to kind of hide in these little nooks to be safe. 
And no, that is not an advertisement. The word Nook is not specific to the book reading device. Jeez, why is my game... I don't know if you can see it, but my game is slowing down a little. Actually a lot. Look at that. Anyways, these guys, oh, they're gonna try to suck you in. And what you can do is throw stuff at them, and then hit their thing. Or you can just fight the current until they get tired, which I'll show up here with this other one. And then, you know, they'll get tired. All, or you could just swim above them like that. Because they don't cover up the whole space. There's not a lot of these guys. So eventually, these guys can get tired. Come on, dude. Or they're gonna... Uh, you're supposed to get tired, sir. Nope, not a... Ah, uh, sir. So, there we go. I can just cheat past him. And look at him. Rippling all over the place. Like a fool. Let's get this treasure. Hopefully this blank screen will help my game catch itself from lagging. Dang, little light. This thoughtful nightlight goes out when you fall asleep. I would not want a nightlight like, like that. That would be scary. One of these guys right outside my bed. That would not be f cool. Ah, some boy. Okay. And of course, they put Gordo's here in case. Finally, he got tired. Jeez, that guy's strong. In case you swim too far against the current, then you'll fall into that thing. And right here, behind this green fuzz, is reminiscent the sea of New Super Mario Brothers. It's a giant fish chasing you, made of green fuzz, and his mouth is agape in position to kill. Whenever there are these currents, you want to take them because they'll let you go a lot faster, of course. And you'll have more time to get treasures like this. Or not really. Nope. I actually got hit. I've never gotten hit by that before. Faster. I'm stuck. I'm... No! No! How did I actually do that? Ah! Uh, come on. Come on. I'm starting over. <laughs> I don't know how I messed up on that. I've never even gotten caught by his mouth. I didn't know what happened. I thought you'd get eaten. Jeez, okay, I'll meet you back there. Okay, let's go! No time to talk to you, Mr. Fish. I'm running away from a giant fish who's more important than you because he killed me. I would not recommend getting those little she seashell things because all they give you are little beads. And as you saw, by me getting them, they cause death. So, uh, oh, oh, get out of my way, Mr. Thing. But I would recommend getting this, very important, yes. And getting those, and then we get over here, and he's too big to fit through the gap. Oh, he's crying underwater. How sad. And then we're going to get the dolphin power-up thing. With this power-up, you can swim, surge attack, and play with balls. Sorry, I can't, I can't remember if we've already gotten that. I think we have. Yeah, we have. Yeah, because I remember doing that ball thing where we had to play with the... Where we had to get the ball. <laughs> this is sounding weird, but we had to put the balls in the hoop like basketball. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. And it's weird because you can actually swim on land if you face the right direction. No, but if you want to, you can go like that to skip a lot to this level. But that's not what we're going to do. So there's stuff to be done, but it's much easier this level now that you have the dolphin power up because it's the controls for swimming are a lot better and it makes the level a lot more enjoyable. We are in the sunken ship, which is a lot more cool than just being in the ocean. And we have the mast. Putting this in your room may lead to random bouts of swashbuckling. I don't know what random bouts of swashbuckling would entail. But it sounds awesome. Actually, it sounds kind of weird. If you're ran randomly just like, Oh, I'm a pirate. With this light in your room, it's like a mind control light. Ooh. Okay, so don't get caught in between these guys because it will not be fun. But they put the enemies just in a way that that is entirely possible. And also, we can cut through these little, uh, what are they called? Cloth block things with the dolphin power-up, so we don't need to worry about 
getting stuck like here. What's down there? Looks like something is down here. And I want to get it. Come to Papa. Okay, it's that. I knew that I was there. I was just building up suspense, of course. But yeah, now that we are a dolphin, we can get in here for the deep dive deep music, which is actually pretty cool. Most of the music in this game is cool, but this... Oh no! Another fish! Okay, let's go. Now that we're a dolphin, it should be a lot easier. Because we can dash through things. Ah! If we do it correctly, that is. And the game's gonna slow down even more, but I don't care! Come on, Gerby! Get past the stuff! Phew, if we're done with that... Oh! It's a rising fish! You thought rising lava was bad? Now it's rising fish! Swim away, Kirby! And then at the end, we do a victory little jump for the tar... <laughs> rising fish. May cause random bouts of swashbuck. Anyways, we are done with this level. We're done with rising fish. And with this weird harp thing that looks like something out of... Uh... Sydney, there we go. Sydney, I'm going to get the five star and we're gonna get out of here. Please don't go past... There we go. Things are going my way today. Except for that, you know, part in Treasure Island. We try not to think about that too much. Anyways, it was kind of a long episode because these ocean levels are kind of long. But, hopefully the next one will be shorter because we will be fighting the boss and doing the other two levels. And we got the octopus nook, which is not an advertisement at all. Of course. And with that... I'm gonna save throwing this for next time for the suspense, but I will travel to where the patch is, which is right. Should be right near this guy. Where is it? Uh. Oh, it's right. It's, uh. We're gonna throw it next time, and you'll see. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. And are the rising fish more epic than Kirby's yarn? Find out next time. See you guys then.